I'm should you ask for your letters of recommendation? So that's kind of a tricky one. I think that you want to make sure to ask people far enough in advance so that they have time to get it completed, but not so far in advance that they forget that they need to do it because life kind of gets busy sometimes for everyone. And um, I would probably say like three or four weeks ahead of time. And it's not a bad idea to touch base with them. Like if it's a teacher that you had your junior year, touch base with them their, your junior year and say, hey, when it comes time for letters of recommendation, do you think that you could maybe write one for me? And then that way they kind of already have in their mind that you're gonna be coming to them in your senior year to ask for a letter. Did you ask for a letter of recommendation? I think it's really important that you find an adult that you have a good connection with to be able to write to a letter of recommendation because you want to make sure that they can talk to your personality and give some specific examples of moments that they've had with you that kind of shed light onto who you are. I would give teachers at least a month um, and that's because you want to give them time to be able to draft and go through the writing process so they're not doing something last minute and they can really take the time to work with and make sure that they are selling you and making you look the best that they can. So I give at least a month so that they can really uh, utilize the writing process. So a good thing to do is to ask a teacher that you have a good relationship with. Um, and that could be like a good relationship with um, like a mentor-mentee kind of situation or it could be that you have a good relationship with academically like you um, worked with them on improving your writing and maybe you stayed after class or you worked during class and so now they know you as a person who works hard academically, you'd want them to be able to talk about that. So any teacher that can give specific examples of reasons why you rock, that's who you ask for help writing a letter of recommendation. So some colleges are also really specific and they want specific people on the staff to write letters of recommendation, like the guidance counselor or your English teacher or a coach. So sometimes you might need to be ready to give them information about yourself if you're not sure what kind of relationship you have or if you're not sure that they're going to be able to say things that are specific enough. Ask in person and just be yourself. Don't, um, don't be worried. Just go up and ask them like you're asking them for a pencil. Um, I think what happens is that your body language gets a little nervous and then the teacher becomes nervous and then it takes a while for the teacher to process that and then you've got this awkwardness going back and forth. So don't bother with that. Just go up and ask. Um, the worst they're going to say is no. Believe it or not, it sounds weird, but you should ask the teacher that challenges you the most. You battle for that knowledge that shows that you have a lot of ambition, you're dedicated, you're willing to suffer <laughs> to get something done and do it successfully. So it's not always the teacher that you um, just ace the class, okay? You want to have that back and forth battle so that they can really see all the knowledge that you're building and how dedicated you are. Maybe in May and then remind them or let them know that you're going to ask them again in the fall and then you'd give them the actual form um, that requests the letter of recommendation probably about four weeks before you need it so that they have plenty of time to remember all the cool little things about you. Um, I think some schools actually require you to ask a math or science teacher and an English or history teacher. And even if that wasn't a requirement, I think having one of each type of teacher would probably make you look well-rounded and better. So probably those types of teachers. Probably somebody that you had in class your junior year. And I would think you would want to ask them towards the end of your junior year, because if you wait until the beginning of senior year, they probably have already forgotten all the cool little details that they might have included in your letter if you ask them at the end of your junior year.